Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, Unification 7.3 has now been released. And I do believe it's time to update my install guide, because the visuals and the audio on the old version still said 7.0. So, just some things before we start. Uh, this guide covers both the in installer and the manual versions of the ModDV version. While Nexus has the same process, due to its weird habit of renaming files, if you have any issues, it's probably easy to just go manual. Also, due to people complaining and insulting me over the length of the last install guides, where I bundled the installs and troubleshooting and all of that sort of stuff into one video, because they didn't actually watch any of it or read the description where it said that you could just skip the various bits and didn't have to watch all of it. Uh, I have actually split the videos now. This video is purely install. If you have any troubleshooting you need to do, there will be a separate video for that which I'll upload at a later date. Who knows, maybe by the time you watch this I'll have already done it. Hopefully, though, that is the best of both worlds, and I will not be splitting anything any further. While I have recorded this on 7.3, this install guide will work for all future versions of Unification. The only difference you will see is the version number. The comments are also disabled. Please direct any tech support issues to the Unification Discord's tech support channel. The link will be in the description, as will all the links that you will need in this video. This guide... F Finally, this guide assumes that you do not have Unification already installed. If you already have Unification installed, please go to your Downloads folder and delete everything Unification related. Then go to your Soulstorm folder and delete both the Unification folder and Unification.module. While the installer should remove the old version for you, I prefer doing it manually just to be safe. So let us start with the manual version. First, we are going to need two files. In the Files tab here, we will have Unification version number installer.exe. You will also have unification version number. We need both of these, so click on one and then click download now. The download should then start. If you have issues with speed and it's not within the first, say, two weeks, then what you can do is you can click on Mirror and it will allow you to download from another location. And with that, we also need this one. So, we can click Download Now. Once the downloads are complete, you should have these two files. Note that they do not have to be in a separate folder, I just moved them here for ease of recording. So, once the download is complete, you should have two files. Unification insert version here.exe and unification.7z. So to run the installer, we are going to be right-clicking on unification insert version here.exe and we are going to be clicking Run as Administrator. It will then come up with User Account Control, to which we will click Yes. That will then launch the installer. So, let's accept the license agreement, shall we? Now, the destination folder should be filled in automatically. This is going to be your base Soulstorm folder. 
If it is not filled in automatically, then you will have to enter it manually. If, for example, you have the Steam version, then you can find the path by going to, well, right-clicking on the game in your Steam library, going to Manage, then Browse Local Files. Click Next. It will then ask whether we wish to install the Mod Manager alongside it. If you are doing a brand new install, you would want this ticked. If you are not doing a brand new install, i.e. you have had Unification or another mod that uses the DAO Mod Manager before, then there is no point. It is then going to state that it has found the archive, the unification.7 zip folder. Now, this install stage could take quite a while. It is quite heavily hardware dependent. Even two people with the exact same hard drive could find themselves having very different install times. Some have even potentially gone up to about 20 minutes. So, the best thing to do here would be be patient, basically. I shall not, however, let you sit here and watch this entire thing. I shall simply bring you back when it is done. There we go. Extracting Unification Mod Archive. And there we go. It's now complete. So let's close it. Go to Lord of War Soulstorm. If we ignore all the other random stuff I have in here, because obviously I have the, um, I have the dev stuff as well. There is our Unification. Fully extracted. And we also have Unification Dot Module right here. So, there we go. All done. Now, I will go over the manual install. And now, for the manual version. So, for this, you are going to need a couple of things. You will need Unification Insert version here. The file name should be Unification.7z. You will also need some form of extraction software. Now, my chosen one for this is 7-zip. However, others are available. Things like WinRAR. So you'll need to download and install this which will not be shown in this video. You will also need the mod manager itself, because when doing the manual version, it does not download the mod manager for you. So for this, we just need to go to the uh, thing up here, there again, will be linked in the description, and click this, and it'll download it for us. Obviously I've already downloaded it, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's how we get that. And with that, you should have these two. Once again, don't need to be in a separate folder. I just did that for ease of recording. So, let us move them both to our Soulstorm folder. Just click and drag. I have my uh, Soulstorm folder on quick access. You might not necessarily do that, but just click and drag to your Soulstorm folder and it will move it. And now, in the Dawn of War Soulstorm folder itself, we should see the files we just moved. Unification.7z and DAO Mod Manager version number here, .7z. So, to do the actual manual install, just right-click on Unification.7z. 
On Windows 11, you'll have to click Show More Options because Microsoft likes hiding menus within menus. Go to 7-Zip and choose the Extract Here option. Only choose this one. Do not choose either of the ones above or below it. This will then start extracting the entire archive, which is exactly what the installer does. The installer is basically just an extraction tool. If you get any confirm file replace, just click yes. In this case, it was replacing the loading screen folder or the loading screen file, specifically called engine on the actual mod db page. Now again, you don't have to watch this entire thing, so I shall just pause it and come back when it's done. And once it's done, that dialog box will disappear. Now we just need to do exactly the same to the DAO mod manager itself. So right click, show more options, 7-zip, extract here, and there it is. I've got to say, this was just didn't do anything there for a minute. Nope, it, it, it has appeared, it's just down a bit. So, yeah, that is now done. Now we have done that, and I have refreshed the folder, uh, we can delete the install files. They are no longer required. If, however, you wish to keep them around for... just in case you need to reinstall, uh, yeah, you can just move them outside of the Soulstorm folder. They don't need to be there anymore. Now we can get on to running the actual mod itself. So, we are going to be launching the DAO Mod Manager. However, there is something that is normally recommended to do first, and that is right-click on DAO Mod Manager, go to Properties, go to Compatibility, and then tick Run this program as an administrator. Some of the functions of the Mod Manager do actually require it to be running in admin mode. Uh, so as such, it's better to just set it to always run as admin. So let's launch it. Double click on Dell Mod Manager. Click yes to user account control. And you will be presented with something that looks a little bit like this. Obviously, you will not have half of the stuff that I have. So. Yours will normally look something a little like this when it is uh, first launched. But the most important thing we want to do here is toggle LAA. I will cover why this is important in the troubleshooting video. But the long and short of it is that it allows Dawn of War to see up to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Other recommended options include Disable Fog, which removes the white fog when you zoom out, sort of obscures everything. There is also High Affinity 6, which helps some people, doesn't help others. So I see no real downside to having it, having it on. No intro movies is self-explanatory. And if you intend to use the auto exec, which is a it's a file that basically binds certain developer commands to certain key combinations, you can run it with dev. However, dev, it, which I will get more into into the troubleshooting video, is a you need to delete the log files. Because, yes, it gives you quite a lot of log files and it will fill up your hard drive if you just sort of leave it very, very slowly. They're all like kilobytes, but still, my point stands. All right, so in the menu on the left, 
Let's click Unification and click Start Mod. And pray that it works. It does. So there it is. That is the install for Unification 7.3. Like I said, all of the links that are necessary will be in the description. If you wish to just double check that you're um, on the right version, uh, just look up here in the top left. Also, like I said, troubleshooting will be in a separate video. The link to that will also be in the description. So, thank you very much for watching everybody, and enjoy Unification 7.3. Until next time, goodbye.